Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin with what appears to be an unprovoked and deadly attack on board a subway train as it pulled into Penn Station. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon is live tonight with the latest on what happened and the search for the suspect. Kieran. Jessica, the suspect, or the victim story rather in this case, has been identified as Akeem Loney. Sources tell us he was sleeping on a subway train when he was approached by a man he didn't know who then stabbed him in the neck. Police are now asking for your help in finding the suspect. Police have released these surveillance images of a man wanted in connection to the fatal subway stabbing. The suspect is described as around 5'9", 185 pounds with a medium build. It's just scary, isn't it? Like it's... It's a, it's a frightening thing to think that you take the train every day and think that it would be unsafe. That's super sad. Like, I, that's a terrible, a terrible thing to happen. Police say the stabbing happened around 12.30 Sunday morning. Sources say the 32-year-old victim was on a northbound 2 train when another man approached him as the train neared Penn Station. The victim was then stabbed in the neck. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The incident has left subway riders horrified. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe at all on the train. I'm afraid I get on the train. I, I took a chance today after hearing what happened. Sources say the victim, who was from the Bronx, was homeless but was previously a patient at Kings County Hospital's site. Psychiatric Center. Investigators say the attack appears to have been unprovoked. They do not believe the two men knew each other. Subway riders say they will be more aware of their surroundings as a result of the violence. Being alert is, yeah, maybe like sleeping, also listening to music, things like that. I think people just need to realize that subways are so dangerous. I try not to sleep on the train and usually keep, you know, keep to myself. The MTA says a surge in NYPD officers along with security cameras in all 472 subway stations have helped make the system safer. Even so, riders say they want more officers in train cars. They should have more policemen. They said that they're going to have in the, in the stations and I haven't seen them. There's more police down there. I think it would be the most important thing. I'm just keep an eye out on things. Things happen when there's no watchful eye. So sources tell us a weapon has yet to be recovered in this case. Anyone with information is asked to call police. We are live tonight outside Penn Station. Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. All right, thank you, Kieran.